He was a beach ball purchased from the dollar store in Denver, Colorado for one dollar, a dollar six after taxes. Bouncing his way to stardom in the pool of life, he was the meatball hero we all crave. I remember the first day I met Brian Wilson, sitting there on the beach. First he bounced one foot in the air, the next he bounced three, and a minute later he bounced ten. But behind the bouncing tragedy would change Colorado Springs wrestling forever. And now, beach ball Brian Wilson, behind the party. Born of a bowling ball and a golf ball. 37 months later, Beach Ball Brian Wilson will be inflated. Beach Ball Brian Wilson's life began in a factory in Kuala Lumpur. He was put together by sweatshop children and shipped to America for distribution at the dollar store, home of the one dollar filet mignon and one dollar recto cream for intense itching and burning. Then it happened. Beach ball Brian Wilson came to Colorado Springs. So I, I met Brian Wilson on a street corner in downtown Colorado Springs. Uh, I thought I'd take a chance with the young kid. Opened up my side door, let him come in. I didn't know Beach Ball Brian Wilson as well as Captain Stevens and as Johnny Crash and Polly B and the rest of the party pirate punks, man, but I can tell you the impact he made. And I wasn't always the best friend of him, and I and I I, I admit that about myself. I just I wish I had another chance to uh, oh, sorry. Filled with air and confidence, Brian Wilson joined the party pirate punks and immediately became a useful partner in this team. The team created by Mastermind and manager to the star, Hollywood Tony P. You could say the moment I met Brian Wilson was a day I'd never forget. We were at the resurrection of CSW and there he was, my best friend. Man, we helped save spring break. But life wasn't all pool parties and margaritas. Because there was that fateful day, and all that ball glory would change. While on a routine party boat outing, beach ball Brian Wilson fell overboard. And subsequently so did Hollywood Tony P. I was afraid for both of them. Don't they know that there's sharks in those waters? Don't they understand that a slight touch of a shark's tooth can pop Brian Wilson's soul in an instant. Before we were on the party pounce, and he was being his usual goofy self, and he, he fell off the boat, and Tony followed him, and we were worried. We were worried they weren't going to make it. Well, I did all I could do and jump in after him. But the current, the undertow, took us out to sea. It was only then, by the luck and the grace of the great God Almighty, that we were able to land on a deserted island. Hollywood spent four weeks on the island until he and beach ball Brian Wilson escaped to the riptide and were picked up by the very same party pirate punks on the party palace. Oh, by party meister. Pauly B. So when we picked them up in our ship, we returned back to the party palace. We celebrated with many, many games of volleyball. There will never be another day like it. At Riptide, Brian Wilson, with his last gasp of air, threw himself at the nefarious games master, perpetrator, and murderer. Games Master, who also moonlighted as a bus driver, also known as the Bus Master, had this to say. Brian Wilson, I can give a damn for that stupid beach ball. In fact, I know this isn't church, but I have a confession. I'm the one who popped him! <laughs> Stick that in your brief. The Games Master! He's always standing in the way! 
Soon Brian Wilson would deflate, and no amount of mouth-to-ball resuscitation would save for the dying beach ball. Brian Wilson started deflating right there in the middle of the ring. I tried to give him CPR, I, I tried to give him mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, but he was running out of air. He was losing air, he couldn't breathe. Beach ball Brian Wilson died on the very same day Captain Stevens was celebrating his birthday. Then, we went to grip time. I saw him go up in the air just out of the corner of my eye. I didn't know what had happened. Then he went up in the air and I ripped tight. He came down. He came down. He did get back up. Started. Started losing air. I miss him so much. I miss you, Ron Wilson! As sadness filled CSW wrestling world. Beach Ball Brian Wilson, gone too soon. Was it drugs, fast cars, women, the rock and roll lifestyle? Who knows? He was a huge influence on everyone he came across. And while I never had the chance to sit down and talk with Beach Ball Brian Wilson, I know that he'll be sorely missed. And tonight at CSW Throwdown in Old Town, I and many others will dedicate our matches to our fallen friends. The Party Pirate Punks would move on, but they will never forget the sacrifice. One ball could get. When I'm, I'm talking about Brian Wilson, there's only one thing to come to mind. Um, I wrote a little song about this. Um, I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. There's something, 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 Dawson's Creek. And now they move on with a memory of a ball, of a beach ball none of them will ever forget. You never get to say goodbye in the way that you're supposed to. He's in helium now. He's in helium now. Let's do this later, I'm sorry. And though the ball has deflated, the party will go on. And with the memory of the ball as fuel, Team Triple P will continue to party all over CSW. So now we go on, and uh, I guess we have no choice but to keep moving forward, like Walt Disney said, and we pray every day, and everything we do from now on is for the memory of our good friend, Beach Ball Brian Wilson. Wherever you are, buddy, keep on balling. And the party will go on. Next time on Behind the Party, Slurms McKenzie, everyone's favorite slug, with a dark secret and a troubled past. Join us as we explore the Slurm Factory and the legend of Slurms McKenzie. Party on, contest winners. Party on. Yeah.